Man, the lighthouse video clip, damn, what a ride. It's, it's a piece that I'll hang up on my wall for the rest of my life and be proud of. It was a wild, wild roller coaster, but we, we got through it. The video's good, in which case the video is epic. <laughs> I mean, you got to imagine we're trying to put this video clip together in the middle of COVID. So everything's changing on a day to day basis. We've got our production team up in Sunny Coast, Bliss and Esso's in Sydney, management labels in Melbourne. We're all trying to pull our resources to come together to shoot the clip. And suddenly we can't travel. At first, we had a film clip where it was all set up in Melbourne, then lockdowns. Then it was set up in the Gold Coast, then lockdowns. Then it was set up in Sydney where we were going to have our Gold Coast people come down and work but there was lockdown, so they couldn't come down. So there we were, 12 days to go until the song was getting released and we had no video. And I happened to be up in the Sunshine Coast at the time with Peter and he overheard me on the phone talking to the label when everything fell apart. He was like, listen, I just overheard what you're saying. I think I could pull something together that's pretty damn good for you guys at the last minute. So I think it was the fourth attempt that we actually found Pete and made it work. I think for a lot of people, the COVID restrictions has restricted them from doing what they usually do. I think in my situation, it enabled me to have a new opportunity. And so when there is like oh, a restriction or a rule, it's like, I'm gonna fight as hard as I can to, to not break the rules, but um, do whatever I can creatively to make something happen. The one thing I know about Peter is like, he's a gun and I've working, worked with him with past projects. And when he says he can do something, he can do it. So I called up the label, I was like, listen, I know this is a long shot, but I'm with Peter right now, and we think we can pull something together last minute and make this happen. Label didn't want to borrow of it, SO Dean didn't want to borrow of it, management didn't want to borrow of it, everyone was devastated, we were like, look, it's too hard basket, it's gonna to be too hard to pull together. And I was like, man, the last thing I want to happen is like Bliss and SO have been quiet for so long, we come out with this first song in a long time, and it doesn't have the visuals to match the epicness of the, of the song. So I was just like fighting to get this done and across the line with Pete, and I knew he could pull it off. You know, he sold me because I was kind of like, okay, well, what can you do, mate? Because I want to be levitating above water. I want there to be electrical storms. You know, I want me to look like a Renaissance God. He's like, yeah, 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 we can do that. I was like, oh, yeah, yes, yes, man. All right, mate. He's the real deal. It's actually so funny because we actually shot the first scene without the green light from the label. Uh, Pete called me up and he was like, I was like, Bliss, we've got an opportunity to shoot this scene with a massive bonfire, but you have to travel up from the Gold Coast right now. So we, we ended up shooting without even getting a green light yet. And, um, and I think because we did that, we actually got the green light. So sometimes you've got to take a risk to, uh, or a big risk. Uh, we've got Big Pete doing his best. We've got a team around us doing their best and we're getting it. We're getting it, we're getting it. Let's roll. Somebody show me the it was the craziest thing putting this thing together because we literally had no time and we had to put it together, you know, with like people everywhere. Pete was directing from afar using, you know, a live feed on his on his iPad so he could see what was going on on FaceTime, directing from afar. I had a team in Sydney shooting SO, I had a team in London shooting Jake, had his team shooting me in Sunshine Coast. It was crazy the way it all came together, but thank God miracles can come true. There was there was three days of shooting for me. And on the first day of shooting, I had no idea how this was going to look. First of all, we're in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Okay, we're at a bloody farm. I've never been there before. We're up to our knees in bloody mud. It's raining. There's feral cats and dogs everywhere. I'm just thinking, are we gonna make this look good? We've got a bloody crane with a fucking, you know, a harness that I gotta get pulled up in the air. Every time I get pulled up into the air, my bloody beans go up into my rib cage. And I was just thinking to myself, this, this, is, this is too much. I'm sitting in, in home in my studio with a feed, waiting to come on a, like a, a virtual um, Zoom call. And then, you know, then they plug in and then bang, the shot comes off of oh. SO just <laughs> levitating off the crane and the, the lightning's flashing. And I lost my mind. I was like, no way. Looks way better than I thought. I was like, oh. Yes. It was like the first moment I was like stressing the whole entire time, but it's the first moment I was like, okay, this clip's gonna work. But when I got hoisted up into the air in one of my flying shots, I came back down, my balls came back down, and then I went over and I looked at the actual like footage that we had just shot. And as soon as I saw that footage, I was like, fuck me. 
we have got something here. The boys, Pete, everyone involved, I hadn't worked with them before, so I was just kind of like, how is this visually going to be represented? And, um, and, and Pete came through, man. I mean, the whole team of people that we had working with us, uh, they made, I mean, it looked Hollywood. When I saw it, I just went, wow, I'm not in a dam, I'm not in Wollongong, I'm floating above the Atlantic with clouds behind me, and it's a renaissance. Mind you, it just kept getting harder and harder. On the second day was my underwater scenes. They had to put weights around my waist. I was at someone's place, I didn't know you know, who, whose place it was. It was midnight. The boys are in the pool with goggles on. They look like a SWAT team. They keep going underwater. I've got two wetsuits on. I've never worn a bloody wetsuit before. So it's restricting me. I'm kind of already feeling a little bit, how you going? And then eventually I go out there to the pool area and I do my shot where I'm standing on the edge of the pool and I fall in. So it's like, all right boys, you ready? Go, and I fall, and as soon as I fall, the water rushes up my nose. My wet jumper falls on my face and covers my mouth like an old bloody uh, waterboarding torture technique. Could not get the shot right, and then eventually they were like, okay, we'll put some more weights on you. So you really fall to the bottom of the pool. And when they put those extra weights on me, what do you think happened then? I couldn't get up, mate. Dean had to come in and grab me out. So eventually we had to get some other guy put a hat on, make him look like me, put the hood on, and there was a couple of shots where it was someone else. If, if I'm honest, getting the shoot done, we did it in like one evening, maybe like a couple of hours. Um, and then the hard part was just making sure we got all the stuff uploaded in time for, um, for the actual video to be stuck together. But it was great, it was a panic, it was a rush, but it was totally worth it. So my manager at the time, they, they message, sent it to me and they said, hey, these guys are looking for someone to really carry this top line in this song. This is the theme. Um, and actually, if I'm honest, I was thinking uh, the theme of Lighthouse and just what the song was about. I was thinking, right, this is like a really epic theme, like a real, almost like a, a theme for a desperate situation. Like little did I know that fast forward, we'd be releasing this in a pandemic. You know what I mean? Um, and I just, I just feel like it, it yeah, it, it resonated then and it resonates even more now. So the craziest thing was we shot the whole clip, three cities, we got all the footage to Pete, he did the draft edit, he sent it through, I saw it, I was like, oh man. It looked dope but my parts were a mess. Like, my rapping parts were just all over the place and it just didn't look strong. And I was like, I called up Pete, I was like, bro, I was like, I don't know, I don't know what to say, but we gotta fix this, because it's just my parts aren't up to the level visually of the rest of the clip. And Pete was just like, okay, cool, let's figure this out. Let's call up Mitch, let's call up the team, three hours, let's find another location, let's get a strong rapping shot. Last minute, we found a tunnel, we ha it's just so happened to have a stream through it. We wet down the inside of the tunnel. We lit it, looked amazing. It looked like I was walking out of the depths of hell, which reflects the torment I was going through. Cyan front light, orangey, ready glow from the back. Looks so strong, stunning visually. And it was the missing link that we needed to really bring my my performance up to where it needed to be to match the rest of the clip. And I'm so stoked that we were able to ha make it happen last minute because it's just a testament to how we were able to move mountains against all odds. <laughs> Alright, that's a wrap boys. That's a wrap for the rap baby. Fuck yeah, all my parts for Lighthouse is done. We have the A team has just done. smashed it. You got the end scene, bro. Alright, boom baby. We are here, just landed in Sid City from Sunny Coast. I've just shot all my scenes for the Lighthouse clip up there. We had to split it all up because of this COVID shit. We got Pete directing from Coolum Beach right now. We're live on set for the finale scene right here in Sydney. We got Ism and Esso over there in the 1959 Cadillac. It looks sick as hell. And this is where my story intersects with their story. And we come together and then ride off in the sunset together. Boom, let's do it. Shark All right, so check this out. Pete is actually directing live on live stream link right here. You can see him. Say what up, Pete. What up, legend? You. <laughs> so we got Big Pete. He's monitoring right here. 
He's monitoring all the shots in real time, so he's literally directing. He's talking to Mitch. Mitch is operating the camera and shooting on his behalf here. And it's a it's a crazy team. We got a team, interstate team, rocking and rolling right here. So it's all happening. That's a fucking wrap. Boom. I am stoked. We had the rain. Like Mother Nature just said, yep, we're gonna put it on for you boys right at the right time. It rained. We got literally I had to do I had two takes before we had technical difficulties and the gimbal shut down because it got wet. And we got the magic. We got the goddamn magic. So it's it. We are done. Come and say what up to Pete. Yo, did we get it? Did we get the shot? We got the shots. We got the shots. We got it. Yes. Yes, brother. All right, boys. All right, it's a wrap for the wrap. Beautiful. All right, brother. Yeah, man. Let's all catch up soon and fucking yeah, have some kale or something. <laughs> all right. Love yous. Peace,